react like that. Welcome to Hack the Body, Hack the Body. So I up and by KG. Any plan today? Um, basically going to work out my calorie needs, what calories I'm going to consume over the next, I guess, eight week period is probably how I'm looking at it at the moment. My biggest thing that I'm going to be doing is seeing how this bulking phase goes. So I'm working my calories out, I'm gonna be creating myself a meal plan. It's pretty much gonna be exactly the same things every day apart from I may change a couple of evening meals around. The majority of things we're going to be doing is purely seeing how we get on, see what adherence is like, sticking to calorie needs, weighing food and things like that. It's something I've never properly done. I've done it bits and bobs and I've asked loads of clients to do it and it's something that I think is really, really good if you can get into the habit of doing it and something which if you can do it is like, you're probably your best shout if, if whether your goal is losing weight or gaining muscle, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, over the next eight weeks, I'm gonna do probably two videos a week is the plan, but we'll see what the workload's like. And so today, you're basically gonna see my meal prep. You're gonna see what I'm actually gonna be cooking, what I'm making, and then I'll put a video up hopefully in the next couple of days and we'll go from there. But yeah, first things first. So what we've done, we've basically gone for six meals throughout the day. I'm gonna do a physique update. I'm not a bodybuilder, so my posing will be dreadful, but I'm gonna do that anyway. And then take my measurements. I'm gonna start with my weight tomorrow morning, but I'm gonna take all my measurements and stuff today. Yeah, it's actually, it's quite exciting to be honest with you because I've never really been this dedicated to what I'm doing. Um, with, my phys with my own physique and stuff like that. Basically 3,060 calories a day. I give myself like a 200, 250 um, calorie window, which I can use things like oils to cook in, um, sauces and things like that, that would make up the extra calories that I need. I prefer having a higher fat kind of diet when I'm trying to put on weight, when I'm trying to gain muscle. I feel stronger when my fat content's higher. Um, I always preferred eating higher fat and I find that higher fat, because I'm trying to bulk, it's just easier to consume. So it's just so easy to consume. Plus I love peanut butter, so I never cannot take that. Um, so in the next video, you will see me doing my face down. to basically sort the meal prep out for the whole week. Um, people get worried about chicken and leaving stuff in the fridge for too long, but for me, I just like, it's gonna last, it's always gonna last. I wouldn't even worry about it. So we're gonna do that now. Really better at holding this, cause it just doesn't, right. See, I don't, there we go. Pretty much burnt the mincemeat, um, cause I forgot about it. Um, rice is boiling, chicken. Now the chicken actually looks superb, to be honest with you. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a better looking breast. Crispy on the outside. 
outside. Lovely in the middle. Um, so I'm going to do my first weigh in this morning, see what I actually am. Um, I'm going to go use the toilet, then basically step on the scales. Um, I didn't eat too much yesterday, so I don't think I'll be that heavy. I think I'll be probably one of the lightest I've been for a while. Um, but then we'll see what happens over the next course of the week and we'll work out my average for this week and we'll kind of take my weight as that average and then see where we can build from there. The mill one, which is my own oats, I think it's 80 grams of oats. 80 grams of oats, uh, 25 grams of protein powder, nine grams of flax seeds, um, 30 grams of peanut butter, 250 ml of uh, almond milk and 70 grams of frozen berries. 671 calories, 62 grams of carbs, 39.2 grams of protein and 29.7 grams of fat. 20 to 10, I have a client at 10, so I've just done a client, come back. We have three scrambled eggs, half a bagel, spinach and chorizo. The reason I do the chorizo is purely to make the spinach taste better. Yeah, this is meal two. So I thought I'd show through the podcast setup. And it is quite funny, actually, when you look at it from here. Those things are just yoga mats. That's a blue yoga mat there. We basically don't have a location we can podcast at at the moment. So we're trying to make do. Um, we're in a yoga studio right now. And it's really, really echoey. So because it's echoey, that's why I have the yoga mats around. Um, I have as much foam padding as I can around the mics. Literally, my voice travels like fuck in this room. You'll probably hear it on here. It's probably echoey as anything. So I've got to try and get rid of that echo in post-production when I kind of go through and edit the sound of it all and that's the hard bit. So the first thing I got to make sure I do is record at the right level. If you record a little bit more quiet than you normally would, it seems to, seems to do better because then I can always turn it up on here, like in production, you can't ever turn it down. So it's better to record quiet and then bump everything up, but it's still kind of just hit and miss at the moment until we can get some proper headphones, until we can get in a room which is literally not made of wood. Um, it's literally the worst thing you could be. Flat walls, wood, that is why we have the yoga mats around, but yeah. So hopefully this next podcast won't be too bad. We're talking about how to break through plateaus. So hopefully you can check that out on, go to like Real Coaching Radio on Spotify, iTunes, all of them. Um, I'll put a link in the description to all of those. then I missed meal three which was I didn't miss it but I forgot to film it which are basically bananas uh, one banana one apple peanut butter bagel meal four minced meat and rice so my overall calories for the day is gonna be like 3,000 feel like we're definitely gonna be up on that next week I'm starving it means the program is working it means I'm wanting to grow we're just gonna get on with some programming some video editing um, we will see you on meal five I'm gonna see how this week goes I'm gonna kind of run this week as as it says, as I've said, I'm going to, and then if for any reason I don't enjoy it, if for any reason I haven't gained any weight, then I've calculated my macros wrong, which is possible because putting in the amount of movement I do throughout a day, like it's, it's, it changes. So we're gonna see kind of what happens over this week. I think I'd have calculated them correctly. We'll see, hopefully things will um, be where we want them to be. I was 87.1 this morning. Yeah, 87.1 this morning. 
So I'm hoping by Friday morning, if I'm moving in the right direction, if I'm moving up, then I'll be happy. See where I fluctuate, take an average of this week and then see what happens next week. It's hard to kind of grasp off one week what's happening. So two weeks, I'm basically gonna run this same diet for them just to see what happens. And if there's nothing happening in the two week period, then we can look at bumping my calories up a little bit more. I mean, we'll see how I feel after these meals, but so far I'm pretty, pretty starving. I don't think for people wondering, I don't think that you have an exact calorie amount. I think my calorie amount is 3,060. I don't think that if I eat 3,059, like, oh, well that's it, I'm not gonna gain weight. Anything I've read suggests around a 200 calorie buffer that basically you can fall within a 200 calorie window. And that's around your maintenance and same thing for trying to gain weight and lose weight. The amount of things that kind of, we have to take into consideration for our calories outside of this equation. So you have the calories in, which is what I'm about to eat now. The calories out equation, i.e. like the thermic effect of food, like my knee, kind of my training and just, I guess, get day-to-day -day life, my BMR as well. All of these things that we have to take into consideration when looking at calories out it changes on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's never an exact science, though you have to be as close to exact with the science as you can, I guess. Follow common sense as well. Like follow the general rules, but follow common sense. Like if you aren't putting on weight, you're not eating enough. Um, no matter what calorie calculator tells you. If you aren't, we need to increase your calories. So if in the next two weeks, nothing has happened, calories will be going up. So I haven't done my measurements, but I will get them done in the next video. Um, and we'll see kind of where we are. But as for now, that is day one of the bulk. We'll see what happens over the next two weeks and see if we have to increase calories or not. Like I said, we're gonna weigh probably, try to weigh every day, if not three, three times a week at least and see what happens over the weekend. I'll probably show you through the adjustments I make over the weekend on the diet if I do eat out or anything like that. So you guys can see kind of how I plan around eating out and so on and so forth. But as for now, we will see you on the next one.